Yeah. What's up guys, Matthew here with Piece of Vitamins Professional Repair. Today I've got an iPad Pro 10.5, second gen that's not charging. Uh, let's check what's up with it. I've already got it disassembled. As you can see, the screen is I'm just trying to the screen is over here. I've already removed it safely. Let's check what's happening with it. So just on visual inspection we can see that it is perfectly fine up until the point that we get a damaged pin let's just get it like this we can clearly see in the charging port that it there's one broken pin this means that the charging flex needs to get replaced this this device was booked in this device was booked in by another repair shop um let's take out let's take out the motherboard from over here and let's go into the microscope and we'll show you the process to change the charging flex and to get this back this repair back to the customer to the actual repair shop that booked it with us and we'll be back so what we need to do guys is we need to remove this plastic cover over here we will replace this later on we <coughs> apply some low melt so we take our flux we turn on our JVC. Energy And we to the mix. We need to make we need to make sure that the that it is soaked in with low melt so that this connector will come off very fast and very easy. Let's go back in the microscope. Taking hot air. Let's remove this connector. And as that sample goes, connect this out. Okay. And we now need to clean up the area. We clean up the area by just working the pads. Said is in the video. He'll be on YouTube. Don't worry. Right. He's a good car mechanic, guys. Recommend him. Definitely, definitely, definitely recommend him. Let's take our and we clean. Make this as flat as we can.
once the area is clean and everything is flat we remove all the glue take this side that's clean We now take our replacement connector, found it here. You'll find the connector over here. We'll now need to put that connector in place and then we can solder it back down. And we should have a working board again. So the trick is we align it. Off. And we align it nice. We align it to the dot. Just found there. Okay. So what we do now is we put a little bit of flux on this side and a little bit of flux on on this side. We take our holding line and we get this thing down. This side is done. Now we need to line the other side. Now this is not moving, we now need to solder the whole connector. Let's rotate it like so, so we can get it nicely in the scope for everybody to see. Let's put some flux and get the charging port down. Give some more, just give some more, give some more TLC over here. So close pins with solder. Now we now we clean. These joints are like factory. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful 
Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's go over it one more time just to make sure that everything's good. And then I'm going to reassemble this and then we can test. Hopefully, it's going to work. We are... at 2.7 amps of current. To show you, the tablet is charging. So when there's a charging port. Rock on, guys, rock on. Sweet. Yes, that means that this tablet is actually charging and it's going to work with full function. Um, the other repair shop will be very happy. I'm happy that it was a successful repair. Uh, I hope you guys like this video. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more cool microsolving videos, advanced tech repairs. I'll check in the next one. Cheers.